whom is this beautiful new character? That's right. It's the sixth Doctor. Colin Baker is now in Doctor Who Legacy. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can unlock him and discussing some of the all important new patch notes for the game. Well, greetings everybody. Today I'm going to be telling you all about the new patch in Doctor Who Legacy and showing you how you can get um, the brand new sixth Doctor, Colin Baker, um, for your game. Let's start off with the Doctor. You need to head your way back into Season 7, and you need to come to the level The Silent Paradox. If you have completed um, Season 7, uh, it's actually you're reasonably, f uh, reasonably quite far down. If that, that's the end of the, the finale, and you've got to come all the way back down um, to about... What are we about? About 10 levels in, maybe a little bit more, maybe more like 15 actually. Um, but here it is called the Silent Paradox. And of course, you can see the familiar um, Colin Baker, um, white man afro, um, right right there. Um, it's a guaranteed drop, so head in there and pick any team that you think um, is suitably powerful enough to get through it. Um, and head on in. And while we're going through, I'll tell you about some of the other patches. Now, there was a patch about a week ago um, where uh, the the games developers, Tiny Rebel Games, um, adjusted the the cooldown on certain abilities. Namely, if I just hold this down on um, on Sam here, um, namely how long it takes for certain abilities to unlock. The color changing ones are a major one. Um, and some people have felt that they adjusted them a little bit too high. So instead of it kind of taking um, six or seven turns to recharge, it was taking kind of nine turns to recharge or, or, or something like that. Um, they, they readdressed that. They felt that they had they, they went a bit too far. They listened to the community's feedback as they always do and they've, they've adjusted that cooldown not quite back down to where it was but they have made it um, a little a little bit more tolerable because the, the idea was that there are quite a few people kind of saying to them that the end game meaning you know when you kind of get towards the end of season six is just too easy so um what they were trying to do is make it harder but what what kind of happened is that some of the uh, the early players um early on were kind of saying well actually now that now this is a bit hard so they, they've, they've readdressed that so you should find your your cooldowns on those abilities um uh, now going between um seven six five and um four um depending on who the character is and of course what rank you have um, them leveled up to the other change um, that we've got um, in the in the game is that they've adjusted the number of um, combos that each um, doctor um, requires for um, for, for some of their abilities um, because the, I, I actually agree with this one is that some of the combos were set very 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 high indeed like you had to kind of get um, you know, 100 or 60 or you know a, a crazy amount of combos to unlock your doctor's um, final ability and it was just taking a long time to unlock it and in fact in some games if you, if you were actually playing very very well you would you, you would never even kind of see those um, those kind of combos so they have had it made in a little bit of an adjustment um, to, to those combos as well and if I if I hold down on, on the Matt Smith um, Doctor here, you can see it's 20 and 40 um, on on those combos now, rather than um, whatever it was before. Um, but the big, big news, of course, um, is that um, the Colin Baker Doctor is now unlockable. And if we get our way past this um, beastly little creature here, um, we should we should be able to find. Um, our way to it. Um, there's also been an announcement in the last few days that the Sylvester McCoy Doctor is um, coming. That was an, an, an announcement which was made over on the Facebook page. Um, no news yet on exactly when it's coming on how, on how or how you get it, but um, it is definitely uh, he is he is definitely on his way. Which for me is absolutely fantastic news because um, um, I don't know about you, but um, McCoy was kind of my Doctor um, from when I was a, a young little kid. Letter. I'm not, I'm not necessarily sure that I think that his stories were the best, or um, whether I would um, put him in the same kind of um, I don't know, level as some of the others. But for me, uh, he he was mine when I was growing up. So as a as a child of the 80s, I'm very excited to see to see um, his inclusion um, in. Um, in Doctor Who Legacy, and we'll certainly be um, trying him out. But look, what has just popped out um, of our? I think that was almost sort of our paradox there. Um, as we go past our level up screen, we should see that we now have, looking all pretty and dapper in his spectacular red, <laughs> red and multicolored jacket, the Colin Baker Doctor. Let's go and check out his abilities um, in the TARDIS. Here he is, brand new. 
cavalier, they say. That, um, the Tony Rebel Games have said said publicly a few times that they always put a lot of work into naming their abilities. They aren't just kind of randomly chosen phrases or the first thing that pops into their head. They spend a lot of time kind of thinking them through. So he is a yellow character. So our first yellow Doctor. We've got a blue one, we've got a, a red one, and now a yellow. Now that definitely opens up some possibilities, because obviously Vastra is a good attacking character, um, and... Amy Pond is a good all-rounder with an, with an ability to power up yellow damage. So now by having a yellow Doctor, that does open up a possibility for a, uh, a yellow and black team, a yellow and red team, maybe. Some combinations there. And look at this ability. This is something we haven't seen before on any character, let alone a Doctor. Poison targets for five turns, 3% of max HP per turn. Or, if you get all the way to the 40 combo, poison targets for five turns, again, 6% of max HP per turn. So by a little bit of mathematics, if it's six times five, um, that's 30% of a target's HP over five turns. So especially if you're looking on one of those really big bosses, or even just something that you're not quite high enough, high enough level to get to yet. You're going to be able to take off a third of its health over five turns um, by using this Doctor's ability as long as it doesn't heal. Great stuff. Lovely to get um, a Doctor, and even better to get a Doctor which is a, a guaranteed unlock. This isn't something you've got to farm for you know, or, pay, or pay for. It is um, just there as, as a gift for Christmas um, from Tiny Rebel Games. Hope you found um, the, the, uh, the video useful. Hope you enjoy playing as the Sixth Doctor. If you've got any questions about the patch or anything, you can stick them in the comments video here. Comments or the video, or you can head, of course, over to Tiny Rebel games on the um, Doctor Who Legacy on the Facebook page or the Doctor Who Legacy um, Twitter as well. Please like the video and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you soon. Bye bye.